Good day everyone, this is Senior Clerk Cobello for another episode of Med Docs with Murray. For today's episode, I will be performing how to make a short leg posterior mold. For the indications, we have ankle dislocations, Achilles tendon rupture, distal tibia and fibula fractures, tarsal injuries, and metatarsal injuries. For the materials, we have synthetic splint, content bandages, stockinette, measuring tape. For the procedure, first we introduce ourselves to the patient, explain the procedure, and secure their consent. We then position the patient properly and comfortably. We can put up a rolled-up pillow placed under the patient's knee for ease of splinting and for the patient's comfort. We measure the splint length as needed. It is measured starting from two finger breadths distal or below the popliteal fossa, following down at the back of the leg and ending approximately 4 inches or 4 finger breadths past the toes. Next, we apply the stockinette to the injured leg. This will serve as the first layer of a multi-layered compression bandage to help keep the leg dry and clean. Pull the proximal end of the stockinette up to the patient's patella while the distal end passing beyond the patient's toes. Make sure that the foot is at a 90 degree angle. Apply the splint at the posterior aspect of the leg two finger breaths below the popliteal fossa down to the toes to ensure patient's comfort and allow the patient to bend. We then apply another splint at the sides. We then begin wrapping the loosened knee using the first bandage, keeping the fit snug but not too tight. We pull the stockinette over the splint to expose the patient's toes. Next. We secure the splint over the foot by applying the second bandage using the figure of 8 motion. At the proximal end, fold the stockinette over the edges of the splinting material. Then apply the third bandage by wrapping it around the foot to secure the previous bandages. Check the distal neurovascular status such as checking the CRT and movement of the toes. Check the area and make sure that there are no rough edges. Lastly, thank the patient and ask for questions or clarifications. That's all for today's episode and hope you learned a lot. See you on the next surgery video.